Hello, my name is Mike McLaughlin and I'm an artist here at Timefire VR and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the bump offset node in Unreal Engine 4's material editor to fake translucence. In this first part we will begin with this six-sided lampshade to demonstrate the basic idea. In Substance Painter I created an emissive color texture which I will manipulate in the Unreal Material Editor to create the illusion of a light radiating out from the center of the lampshade. For this specific case, I created a radial gradient for each of the six different exterior sides it is important that this texture fades from its highest value to black before it reaches the edge of the UV island. If it doesn't, you will be able to see the sharp edges of the UV island in the texture once we apply the bump offset node. Now that we have our emissive texture hooked into our material, it is behaving like any other emissive texture as expected. This may look acceptable when viewing the lampshade straight on and from a stationary position, but once you or the lampshade moves, the illusion falls apart and you can see it's just a texture mapped to the surface of your geometry. This is why we want to use the bump offset to fake depth. Bump offset is what Unreal calls parallax mapping, sometimes called offset mapping or virtual displacement mapping. It offsets the texture by adjusting the UV coordinates based on viewing angle. You can search for this node in the Unreal Material Editor or you can hold down the B key and left click in any empty spot on the material grid to create one. As we attach the node to the UV input of the texture, we notice the material no longer works. This is because bump offset requires height information to function. For our height information, we will use a simple constant value as we will not be needing varying ranges of height information. You can create a constant node by holding down the one key and left clicking anywhere on the grid. This constant has a value of 0.5, which is equivalent to medium gray. We can see there's no change to our material because height information uses values from lower than medium gray to simulate insetting textures by pushing them away from the camera in tangent space and values higher than medium gray to push textures outwards towards the camera. At a value of medium gray, textures remain flat. Since we want our emissive to look like it is a light which resides at the center of the geometry, we will set our height information to zero, which will begin to push the emissive inward. This is a start, but to get the full effect we want, we will have to adjust the height ratio until we see only one light instead of a light on each visible face. I found that a value of 0.25 to 0.3 works well for this. Now we have the effect we're looking for, but our light is shining through our embroidery as well as the metal frame. To fix this, we will use the Lerp node to mask out areas we don't want to omit. Lerp is shorthand for linear interpolate, which just means blending two inputs together using a mask. You can quickly create a Lerp by holding down L and left clicking on the grid. I already have a mask ready to go, and since the areas of the mask I want the emissive to penetrate through are black, I have put my texture into the A input for black and a constant of zero into the B input for white. 
My mask goes into the alpha and the effect is complete. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or ideas for what you'd like to see in the future, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one from the TimeFire VR team.